How's it going YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, time to take a look at the plates for the Master Grade Gundam Exia Dark Matter from the Gundam Build Fighter series. First and foremost, let's get some of the basic stuff out of the way. Here is our tree of polycaps. Pretty decent size, but the Exia is something of an older kit, so get that out of the way. Next we have the Beam Saber Blades themselves, Saber 8s. Pretty cool design, just getting kind of sick of this color. Next up we have a, I don't want to say disappointing, but it's a pretty good sized sheet of foil stickers. Now I know most of these are going to be going inside the pieces for the elbows and knees, but it's these little gold copper detail stickers that, yeah, I'm not too thrilled about, but what are you gonna do? And finally, here we have a pretty good size sheet of peel stickers, and this looks like just detailing stuff for like the blades or shoulders. But anyways, now that that's done, onto the plates. First, we have the A plate, multicolored. We have just a red, black, yellow, and we've got a clear red here. That's pretty cool. Next up is the B plate. And this is just a dull black with pieces for like swords. There's the head. We've got uh, Setsuna. And I know this is Meijin Kawaguchi's suit, but that's still Setsuna. So that's the B plate out of the way. C plate. This is again just external armor in a not a majorly glossy black but it's more a it's got its gloss but I wouldn't call it a black it's more like a really dark gray. D plate. Red for shoulder pieces and head pieces. E plate is just gray internal frame pieces for shoulder. We've got uh, pieces here for the blades, shield, the original GN swords. F plate is more internal frame. This is definitely for the arms and legs. G plate is where we're starting to see some new pieces come about. I mean, we've got the hands and the fingers, but this is for the new shield right here, which has the beam saber blade in it. H plate, pretty small, but we've got pieces for the GN drives, we've got the hips, we've got the action base connector. Next up, I plate. Now this is all translucent red, and this is the pieces for like the knees, elbows, this is the piece you store the GN drive in if you don't have it in the suit. J plate, well actually J2, there is no regular J plate, but this is just uh, blade pieces. This is in a silver, but it's not a metallic silver, it's kind of a dull. So I'm, since this is for the Sword of Ice, I'm probably going to hit this with a metallic blue just because. Next up is the N1 plate, and we do have some multicolor going on here. We've got the external armor as far as gray, uh, dark gray. I want to keep wanting to say black, but it's not really that. It's almost a brown, if I'm honest. Internal frame for the shoulders, and we have the really good blade for the Sword of Fire. In two plate. And this is multicolor again. We've got some internal frame gray. We've got more external external armor right here, and then we've got the only purple pieces on the entire suit, just these three little pieces here. The O plate is a duplicate plate, we have two of them, and this is just red external armor for pieces such as the swords, this is for one of the, I'm pretty sure this is one of the katars or wings for the backpack. We've got this piece which I'm pretty sure goes on the I'll keep wanting to call it a gun blade because that's the only thing I can think of, but it doesn't really have the blade this time around. So that's the O plate, and like I said, there are two of these. Time for the P plate. And we've got the 
face mask, the new covered face mask, which I said looks like um, the G-Bouncer from Gundam Age. We've got the V-Fin. Here's Majin Kawaguchi right here in red. Next up, Q1. This looks like pieces for the backpack because here's the head for that bird mode of it. And we've also got Q2. So that's that. R1 is internal frame gray. Looks like pieces for some of the swords, shoulders. That looks like the torso, or that's actually part of the backpack, I want to say, because there's the uh, bird head. And then we've got the R2 plate, which is just, yeah, just this top half for the swords and shoulders. Well, that does it for the plates for the Gundam Exia Dark Matter. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.